Hey everybody! Welcome to Liquid Lunch episode number seven, Christmas special edition. Uh, it's more than number seven. Uh, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Number nine. Is it really? Yep. And you're making stuff up again. But nope. you look dashing in your hat, so I'll forgive you. Thank you. The hat that you protested to wear. I wasn't protesting it, but I was not super keen on it. Stig. It's not Christmas is yet. Not very festive. Um, super festive. Not really. I'm drinking eggnog. I'm drinking. Our sponsor's beer. Yeah, delicious beer. Um, so, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy all the other stuff out there. I don't know what you celebrate, but um, have fun celebrating. Uh, we wish you all the best from level six here in Canada. Um, so, we're just going to do a quick little episode for you guys, uh, give you a bit of a recap on um, gifts that you can buy for your significant other, um, a little bit of a gift guide. We're going to go over some news, and then uh, we're going to. Lots of news. Lots of news. There's a lot of exciting things happening. Um, do you want Something to that we actually wrote it down. That's how much news we have. Should we just jump right into it? We could. 30 Instead minute max though. Rambling on. So, um, big trade show news. Uh, Paddle Sports retailers no more. So, uh, which is a little disappointing. Um, you know, from a as a paddle sports company, we we felt really at home there. Mm -hmm. um, now there's the big gear show. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. So that was uh, relatively exciting. A new trade show going back to Salt Lake City. Um, so I'm sure they're stoked in in uh, Utah to get mm -hmm. that back. What are your thoughts on uh, on everything? I know you're involved with the. Um, kind of back end uh, of the show and yeah, I guess kind of the insider, you know, having being on the trade coalition that really helped promote uh, or solidify Palo Sports Retailer in its infancy. Um, we've been working really well with the um, the organizers of Palo Sports Retailer. It's like weird looking at you this way. Um, the I get why they moved it. Uh, I think attendance was those who went to Paddle Sports Retailer had a great time. We saw store engagement go up. Uh, the on-water demo was amazing, um, but there was concern, uh, which you see, well, you see now the consolidation of the boat brands. You know, there's um, EJ from Jackson Kayak has stepped down as mm -hmm. the present CEO. Bonafide Kayaks merged with Big Adventures, which really owns Liquid Logic, uh, Native, mm -hmm. yep. uh, a bunch of other brands. So those two brands merged. Uh, Jess Hoff, the press, Confluence uh, yep. was sold to Pelican Kayaks here in Canada. So lots of consolidation in the boating industry, and those brands really tend to take up the most amount of floor space. Um, yeah. More floor space is more revenue for the show organizers. So if we're losing all those brands, it's harder and harder to make a uh, legitimate trade show make money. Totally. So I see why they moved it. It's sad for the core paddle sports brands that loved PSR mm -hmm. um, in Oklahoma City with the with the on water demo the way it was. And I agree with you, we're kind of, I feel like we're taking a bit of a step back going to Salt Lake City, but um, that is the gear, big gear show, different kind of format than OR where they're gonna, it's more focused on like really hard goods. Yeah. Uh, and they're bringing in bikes, camping, um, as well as paddle sports. So we'll see what happens with it. Um, yeah. There's a lot of jostling now for people's dollars. It's it's a lot closer now to outdoor retailer. And iCast. And iCast. Yep. Um, so a lot of people, a lot of brands trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, uh, and we're amongst one of those brands trying to figure out where should Level Six showcase its twenty twenty one line. Now. Yeah, so yeah, that's crazy news. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy. And then uh, as far as we're we're gearing up to launch our twenty twenty line to the public, so mm -hmm. keep your eyes on our website. Uh, I know we're starting to we're I think when we get back on January second, we're gonna upload everything to our website, and you'll be able to um, sign up for email notifications. So if um, there's a particular item you want, just go to our website um, and then you can sign up for, for an email notification. So as soon as it becomes available, you'll get an email mm -hmm. and you can um, place your order for that particular item. So the new Odin, the new Freya, um, you know, some of the new safety accessories yep. and stuff like that that uh, we've kind of teased and, and released uh, here and there. Um, but yeah, everything's set to get released uh, when we get back on January 2nd. Yeah, I think we're pretty much bit. on schedule as well with everything coming in, you know, before, right around that February time frame. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah, and then on that note, um, just for those of you that are checking this out, um, we're going to be closed from December 24th, right? Yeah. Christmas Eve till January 2nd. So yeah. um, 
you know, if you're placing an order in that time frame, we're going to have our Boxing Day sale. Um, so, you know, the website's still operating. We can still take your orders and stuff like that. It just won't ship until we get back on January 2nd. That's one of the yeah. perks of working here at Level 6 is we get to shut down the office um, because it's kind of low season, slower season for us as a Who panel sports brand. Perks? Santa oh, Claus. Okay, Santa Claus. Yeah, Père Noël. Oh, Père Noël. <laughs> um, yeah, so cool. just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, we're we're going to be closed, um, but we'll be back on January 2nd. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Let's uh, talk. I, I picked uh, three items for men and three items for women, mm -hmm. uh, and then a few stocking stuffers for, you know, ideas, gift ideas. I think you can still, if you place your order before the end of the week, you might still get the chance of getting for it before sure. Christmas if you pay for the ex expedited shipping. Yeah. If you're within um, Canada, for sure. Yeah. Um, the U.S., maybe an extra day or two. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I would say tomorrow is probably the last nice. day to guarantee it. Yeah. I still haven't done any shopping. I'm horrible. Really? Yeah. I'm really bad. Well, maybe you should be wearing the Scrooge hat. Maybe, but I'm wearing a really cool hat. The reindeer hat. Me. Your mom got you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, uh, mom. So, um, men's gifts. So, we picked the Torn Gat. Um, the Torn Gat, or actually, no, the Nahani, sorry. Mm -hmm. My bad. Too much rum in the eggnog. Too much rum Classic. in the eggnog. So I picked the Nahani because um, it's just an awesome all-around uh, jacket. So I can pull it down. Mm -hmm. We can kind of break it down for you. I know we've talked about it before on uh, the Liquid Lunch. But it is a full zip jacket. Uh, complete with pit zips, fleece line pockets, a little bit of a longer torso. This is great for the canoeist in your, in your uh, family, in your life. Um, you know, I use this jacket for hiking for absolutely everything. It's just a, a good skiing, all even right as an outer shell. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, it's essentially just a waterproof jacket, yeah. um, and we make some of the best waterproof stuff because we're a paddle sports company. So it's what we specialize in. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend taking a look at that on our website. Um, from there, we get into men's coastal. The good job, yeah, Larson. Thank you. Good I know it. job. I know it. Going down south this year, um, UPF 50. So some things that we do differently, uh, we use a nylon base Lycra, so it has that kind of smooth, silky feel all the time. It doesn't get that clammy feel like a polyester based. Um, we also treat it with a, uh, a crystalline substance that allows it to go from like a UPF 30 to UPF 50. So if you're a white, fair skin guy, just like Mr. Quinny here. Yep, burn easy. Um, you go down to Mexico, which you are doing, I yep. think in February. February. I haven't approved that time off yet, but. Um, <laughs> Too bad. Uh, you would wear something like this because then uh, you don't come back feeling burnt like a lobster. Yeah, I'm, this is gonna be my best friend when I head down to Cabo. Yeah. Um, and along the like, yeah. coastal is a looser fit. So if you're kind of cresting into your late thirties, like Pat is, you don't really have that 18 year old body anymore. So this is a bit looser. I've never had an 18 year old um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's a loose fit, comes along so short sleeve, but um, yeah, it's definitely easy stocking stuffer for people. And yeah. we have a women's version as well. Yeah, yeah, which we'll highlight. Um, the other thing that I love about this is it catches the breeze. Mm -hmm. I like that looser kind of baggy fit, um, especially on those hot humid days. Um, from there, we've got the brand new. Oh yeah, brand Rubber. new. Just brand in. Brand new. They arrived, what, yeah. two weeks ago? Yep. Two weeks ago, fresh. Um, so this is our new redesigned uh, river boot. So uh, we made the river boot for a long time. So this is a river boot yeah. 2.0. And the reason we redesigned it is because uh, we we're redesigning all of our neoprene accessories. And uh, one thing that I noticed is we needed kind of a thicker sole. Mm -hmm. um, being from the Ottawa River, I do a lot of play boating and I have big feet. So fitting inside of a play boat can be quite difficult. Uh, so this low profile boot is just the perfect solution to that. So I can still hike into wherever I'm going on gravel roads, walk around on rocks yeah. without slipping. Um, but I also have the added benefit of this low profile flexible boot that I can fit inside a tight boat. Yeah. yeah. I think also people like the old river boot had just some uh, elastic bands on the top that kind of compress it against your, your arch which was great, but it didn't actually keep, it wasn't super secure if you didn't do up the back part. And if you ever go for a swim or you want a bit more support. So we added this a Velcro adjustable strap on the top. So it's just a bit more of a, a fully featured mm -hmm. boot than what it used to be. But um, same concept though, as it had before, it was designed by play boaters. Yep. Uh, I think Tyler Curtis actually was one of the guys instrumental in the first river boot. Okay. Um, so the new rendition of that. Cool. But yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's the kind of the gift guide for men. Um, or women, doesn't really matter. Um, you know, the Nahani can definitely be worn uh, by anybody. 
Um, on top of that, if they're a little bit more difficult or you don't know what to buy them, we have gift cards available on our website. So check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, I will remind you about the gift cards a couple more times. I'm a gift card kind of guy. Yep. I like yeah, to do my Christmas own shop shopping. Yet. How do you? Uh, no. So that's the other bonus of the gift card. I can wait until the last possible second, just email somebody a code. Uh, yeah. So if you forget your Christmas shopping or you forgot about somebody, um, definitely the gift card's a good option. Cool? Yep. Um, so moving on, we have the women's uh, collection here. So the women's collection, we have the... Stig? Ellesmere. Ellesmere, yeah. Dodge that bullet. Dodge that bullet. Huh? You just kind of show up here and... Yep. Present the itinerary. Yep. Uh, so you want to tell us a little bit about the Ellesmere? Oh, God. Do you remember? I do. Okay. Uh, women's pullover touring jacket. At level six, we kind of talked about this before, um, how we do a lot of body mapping, we combination of fabrics. So in this jacket, you'll see our ultralight uh, fabric that we developed two years ago, I think, yep. and we won an award for it at trade show. Uh, really compressible, so when you're seeing in your boat, you don't get that bul the bunching and bulking underneath your PFD. And we still have our regular 2.5 ply on the shoulders and arms for a little bit of added structure to it, a bit more added, I guess, added stiffness. Also includes a roll away hood, an all YKK zips, fleece line collar, and on this jacket, we uh, kind of mimic what we did on the men's um, torn gut jacket where we have this gusseted neoprene waistband, which allows you to cinch it down tight around your spray skirt, keep the water out um, from coming up and over if you had a big splashy wave. Also, so many features. So many features. We oh. load them up on these, on these jackets. Running out of things to say, but I can't. Um, keep going. Double cuff system. We switched over to this as well. Most of our jackets two years ago allows you to create a watertight seal with this PU-coated Lycra, and then you can get a pair of neoprene gloves, goes over top of that, and then this outer color goes over top, and you create a really bomber seal on that too. Yeah. So, comes in three colors. Yep. Yeah, it's just a, an awesome jacket, and again, one of the few women-specific uh, items that we do make. Yeah, um, super so, compressible. Yeah. Uh, from there, we get into the women's coastal. We get into the women's coastal microphone. I mm. prob they probably can't hear me. So, um, the women's coastal again. We won't uh, spend too much time because we talked about it. Um, it's essentially the women's version of the men's coastal. Uh, yeah. Loose fitting sun protection top. Um, just really great for anybody who's going to be going down south. Anybody who burns. Anybody who doesn't like putting on sunscreen. Yeah. This is the item for you. Um, yeah. Tons of colors. Short sleeve, long sleeve version. Yeah. Uh, and I believe these are on sale as well. The coastals. Yeah. Twenty nineteen. Yep. Because we're making space for 2020. Yep. Um, and then last but not least, we have the Shoreline Boots. Uh, the Shoreline Boots have just been a winner for us. Yeah. A total winner. Uh, we designed these uh, for canoe tripping uh, because of the fact that we needed something that we can roll up and stuff in the back of our canoes and something that we could also take out and would uh, allow us to keep our feet dry, uh, walk through the mud on portages. So we came up with a shoreline boot and now everybody loves a shoreline boot. Uh, I know my mom has a pair, mm -hmm. she doesn't even canoe. She just gardens and walks around in the bush um, in the spring and fall and this is what she loves these boots for. So. I think it was interesting this year we had, I think, was it one of the music festival websites? Wanneroo or something like that. Yeah, said yeah. that this was like the go-to boot yeah. for that, for festival goers, and then that was the end of it. We just sold so many. Yeah. Um, dealers were reordering as fast as they could get them. Yeah. Uh, wicked boot. New color for next year. We have a, a charcoal gray for men's and women's. Yeah. Uh, we added, I think, an extra size in the men's up to a size 13. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, I love my bear. Uh, you know, I take my dog out walking, and especially on those muddy spring days, it's, mm -hmm. it's my go-to. So, shoreline boots, cool. clear winner. Easy to wrap, too. They come in an easy box to, yep. you know, wrap. I suck at wrapping gifts. I don't know about you. Yes, I'm uh, not good at it. No, no. A lot, at it. a lot of tape. A lot of tape. A lot of tape. Okay. Stocking gear stuff? stuffers. That's a stocking stuffer Stocking section. stuffers, right in the middle there. Um, so, for the paddler in your life, got a few items for you. Might as well just take them all down. Yeah. Just hold something for you. Yeah, you can hold those. Tie down straps. Can't go wrong with tie down straps. Uh, I lose them all the time. You lend them out to friends and then in the spring you open up your trunk and you're looking to tie your boat on your roof and you don't have any straps. So clear winner. This is the easiest way to somebody's heart. 
uh, if they're kayakers, I should say. Yeah. Or canoes. Or like to be tied down. Or like to be tied down. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and three sizes too. Yep. Yeah. Three meter, four meter, five meter. Yep. Yeah. From there, the proton gloves. This is a two millimeter neoprene. You want to tell us a little bit more about the foam? Because this is literally the most comfortable neoprene glove you can possibly wear. Yes. So, I mean, the, it's the foam, inside it's a two mil foam. And it's kind of like a lightweight foam, so it's incre incredibly stretchy. And then we also laminate that on the inside with a, we call it like a super stretch lycra. So it's a four way stretch lycra that's pre stretched after it's glued on the neoprene. Mm -hmm. So it becomes, you know, extremely stretchable. And when you wear them, your dexterity is, you don't lose any dexterity on the thing. No, so. yeah, like the stretch is insane on these things, right? And um, just, it doesn't feel like a neoprene glove. Traditionally, neoprene gloves feel like rough and uh, kind of chafy. And this, stiff, and when you hold your yeah. paddle, your hands get sore. Or it like feels fatigue. like a fleece glove, right? It feels like a fleece glove. Yeah, super comfortable. So, so best selling uh, glove that we make for sure. Yeah, and I mean, I think Canadian dollars, $28. Yeah. You can't go wrong with it. And yeah. put that in these, you know, it's a great stocking stuffer. So uh, Proton gloves, check those out. There's a whole line of neoprene accessories that we make, but uh, this is my number one pick. Yeah. Um, yeah. From there, we have the Corky hat. Yep. Can't keep them in stock. Can't keep them in stock. Um, yeah. So they float. Which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, cork front, real cork front. Uh, and then the other cool part, I, I always ruin hats when I wear them out in the rain. You know how they just kind of get all soggy yeah. and um, then they dry out. And anyways, this doesn't happen with these hats. Um, this cork doesn't absorb any water. So uh, it's just a really cool looking hat. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll please anybody. Easy stocking stuffer for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then gift cards. Gift cards, gift cards, gift cards. You can't go wrong with those. Um, just let the person do the shopping for themselves. I'm a personal fan of that. Um, from there, we'll kind of wrap things up. I mean, we have our staff picks blog. So if you want to learn more about what we love here, mm -hmm. um, internally, um, go check that out. Um, other than that, I mean, 2019 was a pretty great year. Yeah, all almost all. over. It's almost over. Today's your last day. It's my last day of 2019. It's getting on a train, going to Quebec city. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy some time off. Oh. Um, so yeah, I mean, Overall, happy with 2019. I mean, we yeah, saw we're good. the King of the Alps sponsor this year, yep. uh, first ever. Uh, what else do we do? I feel like it just kind of flew by. I mean, we really launched some new products. Kind got of our product. ProMaster van was on the road. Yep. After a, a winter of building it out, I think we did like three, 34,000 kilometers in yep. that van from March until now. Went across the country twice down to Oklahoma City. Yeah, I think I spent uh, probably four weeks in that van total this, yep. this summer. It was an awesome little, um, time to, you know, it was just a sweet little vehicle. That yeah, kind of got to go check out our dealers. Yep. Uh, we're working on a new plant-based neoprene for our, for 2021. We've been sampling that stuff out. Um, yeah, we're already ahead of the curve. We're designing 2021 stuff. So yep. we're going to start leaking that stuff and sharing it with you guys mm -hmm. um, because there's no point in keeping it a secret. We get super excited about things. So we want to make sure that we keep you guys excited as well. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what's happening for 2020. What other previews do we have? Um, it's coming up for 2021 or for 2020 for 2020 for yeah for us what do we have uh kind of on the horizon man i mean the odin and freya yeah women's first women's dry suit is going to be awesome uh neoprene swim has you'll see that a lot more dealers next year mm -hmm. we've really been working on how that neoprene and the lycra interact so it still has a lot of stretch but kind of keeps everything in tight and in shape when you're jumping in the water women yeah. love it like active women love it yeah uh, so that's great for us New stealth waistband system. Yeah. On the nebula and mid. stuff like that. Some yeah. new colors we're starting to introduce yeah. as well. People are gonna people have already seen probably the double stitched ace and king. Yeah. Um, Europe is a, they're they're still paddling right now, so a lot of our European dealers have been getting those and the feedback's been great. I think it's like a good review coming out on Unsponsored soon. He's been having one to test. Man, some new new safety throwback lineup yep. with the the zippered baffle. Because a tons of stuff has been yeah. coming out. Yeah, and then we're slowly kind of getting all of our events and stuff planned out. So mm -hmm. we'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, like we said in our last uh, preview or last episode, we're going to try and do two episodes a month, mm -hmm. I think is what we said we were going to try and commit to. Um, we're scrambling a little bit. Uh, we lost our behind the camera person. Yeah. Uh, so we're trying to learn. Uh, I'm very great in front of a camera. Well, mediocre. Mediocre in front of a camera even worse behind the camera. Yeah, uh, best. So even just setting this up, I was like trying to set everything up first thing this morning when I got in. 
I'm not very good at it. So. Yeah, now it's like four hours later, so yep. that's a lot it took to get this set up. Yep. Uh, so anyways, we're hopefully going to have these videos on Facebook Live yep. uh, and just have a little bit more interaction, give you guys a chance to ask some questions uh, and open the floor up to you guys a little bit. So that's yep. our pledge for 2020 when we get back mm -hmm. on January 2nd. So just a reminder, we're closed from the 24th till January 2nd. Um, and that's all I got. Is there anything you want to add? No, I mean, thanks everybody for an awesome year and hopefully you enjoy the holidays. And yeah. See you in 2020 in January. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy New Year on behalf of all of us at Level 6. We really appreciate the support and uh, can't wait to reconnect with you guys uh, in the new year. Love you. Thanks, guys. Girls. <laughs>